my name is Green and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Now today's episode is actually going to be a little bit shorter than usual due to a bunch of circumstances that has left me very short of time. Basically a bunch of projects fell through and or have been delayed and I haven't had my usual time to make a Hermitcraft video. I normally spend about three days in total making each episode. But today I have barely a few hours. Anyway, let's crack on with what we want to do today. So, as you can see, I've kind of made a hole here. I was thinking the only way to get up to the top of this building right now is to fly there. And that's not going to do anymore, I'm afraid. I really need uh, just a quick way up to save myself some rockets. So, I was thinking we're going to make a water elevator up here. But... These towers, which everybody's been complaining about, are not finished. Please, please, please don't complain about how ugly and bland the towers are. They're not finished. And you're probably going to think they look even worse after this little segment because I'm going to do a quick time lapse of me building these towers all the way to the top. And I mean all the way to the top. We go to the absolute build limit in this one. So let's crack on with it. As with all of my time lapses on Hermitcraft, I'm going to use this time to answer some of your questions. Paul Lloyd asks, have you got the whole season planned or are you making it up as you go? Or a mixture of both? I would say definitely the former. I definitely haven't got anything planned. I'm making it up as I go along. However, I do have a few ideas that I do have in mind, but I'm not prepared to do yet due to resources or time or I, I need to get set up and stuff. There's more stuff to do in the future, but I'm mainly making it up as I go along. Shri Goel, I'm sorry if I butchered that name. When do you plan to take that mustache away? I saw a few questions very similar to this. I have constantly, well not constantly, a few times mentioned that I'm going to be taking Mumbo's mustache away and I'm pleased to tell you that that time is coming up very very shortly. However, I do need to get a base down because it involves a very specific build that I need to make. And here's the great bit. I need Mumbo's help in order to make it. I'll leave it at that for now. We'll get there. It's Wuffles says, when will you start uploading on Green 2? Now, Green 2 is a second channel that I made public and attached it to my channel, but I haven't uploaded anything on it. I haven't done anything serious with it. I don't really have many plans with it. I thought it would be a great place to also dump videos that wouldn't go on the main channel or videos that kind of suffer on the main channel. So for example, vlogs usually don't do too well. And for some reason, you guys have been subscribing to it like crazy. It has 17,000 subscribers and I haven't done anything. So I guess thank you. If I can get it to 100K, I, I really just need to make some videos on it. Anyway, let's get back into Hermitcraft. So that was a huge amount of resources. Thousands and thousands of blocks went into this. There is 11 blocks between each one. And I did exactly as I explained last episode with my plan. It does look a little bit like the Burj Khalifa, but I think it looks pretty cool. Obviously, this middle bit is empty, but it's not finished yet. We actually need to fill this in. And I have a few ideas that I'm gonna sort of run past everybody. But boy, oh boy, this is tall. It's maybe too tall. It does look really, really impressive, especially when you're down below here. It is. It has got some sort of majestic aspect to it. So here, I'm going to ignore this. This was a, a little experiment that's now gone wrong. So I'm thinking here, we're going to have another circle. Maybe not a full layer like the ones beneath me, but a mini one. Unfortunately, I've already built these towers in place, so doing this completely symmetrically is probably gonna not work out too well. So I'm gonna create another circle, probably about this high. What I'm thinking is this circle here is gonna wrap around maybe to about this height here, and then this circle you see on that will sit on the top of it. So in theory, it's going to go to about here, and then it's going to finish around there. This little bobble here will end up being there. And I'm thinking right up here, right in the center, we create our nether portal. This is going to be the official nether entrance to my base. And I was thinking of maybe situating it inside an orb. I think that would be really cool. 
and I really hope that this will come together because you never really know with these kind of builds. It's very difficult. I'm so out of my comfort zone here. I just, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Freestyling a build, and I know that if I was going to do this entire build again, I would do a lot of things very, very differently. My problem is at the moment that I keep getting distracted by little projects as I'm doing them. So if I'm working on one layer, I kind of get bored or I run out of resources like I have done just now. And then I start working on something else, leaving it in its very unfinished state. But we're going to continue the time lapse on this at some point in the future because I want you guys to see the progress that's going on here. For each tower, they're not going to remain in their bland state. They're gonna have little decorations in them. In fact, some of it might have like a bit taken out of it and then it will have some cyan terracotta or concrete in there to give it a bit of detail and texture. Imagine eventually, eventually in the long run that we have skyscrapers coming out of the ground here as well. This is the centerpiece and we have other skyscrapers coming out. It could be absolutely amazing. It's unfortunate really that Mumbo is away at the moment because I could really use an Archibro to help me here. So I'm making a water elevator and for the most part that's really simple. All you do is build up this one tube all the way to the top and fill it with bubbles. But I wanted to create a proper elevator system with redstone and I wanted it so that you clicked a button on the floor that you wanted to go to and you'd go up the tube and pistons would push you out. But that sounds a lot easier than it actually is. And let me show you why. So this is a little test world that I was messing around with for a while. Look, there's even an old build of mine over there. That's the circle that I just built on top of the base. This is where I come just to mess around with a few ideas. So this is the, the basic concept that I came up with. This is, to, please do not judge my redstone, it's terrible. The idea was that a perfectly timed button to level one, which you click it, you go inside, and then pistons push you out like so. So a redstone signal goes all the way up the top. It's delayed enough, just enough so that it hits you just as you come up here. The problem is when these pistons push the blocks inside the water, it then cancels the water block source. So this is now flowing water and not an actual source block, which is a problem. You see, when I add another source block here, the bubbles continue all the way to the top. Now, if my design was to work properly, there would be several buttons, you know, one, two, and three. And you would click, I want to go to level one. You click that, bush, off it goes, and it pushes you out at level one. Let's pretend that's here. And then if you wanted to go to level two, you hit bush, level two button, and it goes all the way up, and it pushes you out when you get to this level here. Obviously, you can just walk out at the level, but it's it'd be so much cooler if it was properly designed with redstone and I have a feeling it is possible to I'm not you know I don't know redstone enough to do it so my initial thought was I need to make these water source blocks again and I thought oh that's easy I'll use dispensers in order to do that so I tried filling these up with buckets and that didn't really work either so overall I need Mumbo's help to I don't even know if this is possible, but I, I would like a redstone guy's help to see if it's possible to make a redstone elevator that if you click the level you want to go to, you go hop, click the button, you hop in, and 99 times out of 100, it'll push you out at the right level. See, that works, but then it ruins it. You see, it ruins it. It's no longer pushing me up, meaning any layer that is above that one would then no longer work, which kind of sucks. So instead, we're just going to do the old-fashioned way of, well, I say old-fashioned, it's still brand new with these water source blocks, these water elevators. They are possibly my favorite thing that have been added to Minecraft in a very long time. I also could look on YouTube to see if there are redstone tutorials on this thing, but I kind of prefer to learn myself and preferably get the help of someone that knows what they're doing, and we can come up with something truly, truly unique. So, we're up to the first layer here. Once we're in, get rid of this bottom one. Pop the soul sand in, and up we go! Oh, it's so quick. Oh, this could be so satisfying. 
that gives us access to the first level, but I actually want to get access to the all the way to the top. So I might make a separate tube, or I could just I could just keep using this one to be honest. Oh, we've got a long way up to the top. Oh, this is this isn't safe. Oh no 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 no! I'm gonna die. Oh, this is uh oh. This is this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Safety, safety. This is. I need to light this up. Is there anywhere safe? Half a heart. Okay, not safe. Not safe at all. We're going outside and we're gonna fly like a normal person for now. But that does go to show that these towers are ideal candidates for a mob farm. Oh boy. <gasps> Whoa! Ha no. <laughs> Is it gonna keep going? I really want to. I want to. I want to tighten it down. No. Oh. <laughs> bye bye trident. He's climbed all the way to the top, and I can't get him. I've never seen a spider do that before. I've never seen a spider do that. How weird. There we go. Oh no! No! Oh, thank goodness there was water there. Whew. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, that was so skillfully done. I feel like I could decorate it more, but I think this is definitely just going to be a temporary one until we can figure out this redstone thing, if it even exists. So I'm actually thinking that when we actually make it, because of the odd shape of this one, and I was thinking that these two could become mob farms, I was thinking the elevator could be in this one here. Just because it's so square, it actually fits what an elevator should be. You click the button, and then you go shooting up to the top. I think that's at least my idea at the moment. The only thing I'm wondering to do is, like, what do I do with this entrance here? Because there is a door there, and you can get in if you're a bit sneaky about it. But, yeah, I, I might have to do a little bit of working things out. But, let's experience this, shall we? You do go really fast. I mean, I can make this way more interesting to look at. Well, to be honest with you, if it's the inside of a mob farm, it would be really interesting to go up that anyway, just seeing all the mobs that are spawn. Look at all this unused space. I bet there's creatures up there and everywhere. So, we actually now have a way up here that doesn't take any time at all. Seeing as this episode has turned out to be a bit shorter and it involves a lot more of my sort of chore type jobs, I guess I'm going to continue in that frame of mind, and I'll go over some of the plans that I had in mind. I really wish you could fly up these. There must be a way to fly up. Oh. Oh my goodness, there is a way! Oh, I've been going up that the long way this whole time. Anyway, so we're up here for a good reason. We're going to go and fly a little bit further out from the Pigman farm, because what I want to show you today is something that I saw on Simply Sark's video, and... There's a lot of options to do, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I have a feeling it's going to come in useful for sure. So if we want a quick colour, I've got an empty map here, and that's going to fill it up. You can see that it's got this weird pattern on it, and if we put that in an item frame, that's going to come up as one of those. So now that we've got this map, let's head back to the base, and I'll try and explain what I plan to do with this. Um, Where's the pig... Whoa, where's the pigman farm? Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure this is my life now. I don't know where I am. I thought it was this way. I can't find the pigman farm anywhere. I didn't fly that far out, did I? And I'm wasting rockets like I always do. I feel like the further I fly, the worse it gets. Yeah, we gotta turn around. Wait, what's that? Is there a halt? Silenced? What? Whoa, oh, oh, what have I found? Oh my goodness. What is going on here? What is this? What have I stumbled across? I heard- I, I'm hearing withers. How do these magicians break bedrock? How have they tamed a wither? I'm scared, but I've-, I've at least I've found a way out. 
Where is the, oh, the wither's in there. Oh, he's trapped in the bedrock. Oh, that's, that genuinely scared the life out of me. Well, we're leaving as soon as possible. There we are. I recognize this. This is someone's project. And there we have it. The gr the the G tower. I don't know what we're going to call it, but it looks it looks pretty cool. These towers are mighty impressive. It just doesn't look quite right yet. Don't you don't need to go and tell me in the comments. I know. I just don't have the resources to finish it yet. Jeez, all I wanted to do is make an item frame. Right, so the idea is if you pop one of these out and I've got a spare item frame. This covers the entire thing, right? Now imagine that this was all one color. In fact, you don't need to imagine it because I'm gonna show you an idea that I had. The concept is on the floor, you put a lot of white concrete powder or whatever. This is just what's readily available for me. So this is probably what I'm going to use. You cover the floor in it and then you use a map to create all one standard color. And then you take this and you put it inside an item frame. And I was messing around with this for a while now. If you use glowstone, it means that the entire thing is lit up. And I also figured out that item frames don't get destroyed if you use them on a fence gate. Meaning I could create a, quote, red pill room, like Matrix style, where you fall down a hole and end up in pure white. This is... I'm moving around. You can see my, my fists like moving around. I don't know what's up, what's down, what's left, what's right. If I press F, look, that is just, it's just pure color. But if I turn around, wait, wait, there's meant to be a door in here. Where's the, oh, oh, there's the, <laughs> I got myself so lost. Look, how, how magical does this look? And I was thinking in Hermitcraft, if I can get my hands on just one of these maps, then I can create a room like this to mess with the hermits. Imagine that I could coax one of them into this room and have them standing in here with me. It would just look so peculiar. So I'm thinking I'm going to make one of these rooms. Now, this room isn't actually very big. It's only th three blocks wide, but you can't tell. It looks like it goes on for infinity. The idea would be then to have like a little corridor. Now this is the biggest that the corridor can get because after a while, the maps stop rendering. So if they started here, they have to walk towards the door and it just looks, there's just something about this sort of effect that has me absolutely amazed. And then you go through the door and you make it out the other side. But this is what this room looks like. It's not quite as long as this. This was just me messing about. But you can see here, there you go. That's the end of it. So this is how big that room is, but it looked like it went on for infinity. So I'm hoping I can make something like this in Hermitcraft using the map trick and I don't know, doing a bit of bamboozling. Imagine, okay, for a really, really elaborate thing, if we created a maze made out of it. So you could have, from the outside, it might look like a bunch of these three by I don't know, let's say three by 10. You have a bunch of corridors, one going that way, one going this way. Some of them, like the floor can fall through like here and you go up down a level. It could just be the most baffling thing and you could have doors just everywhere, doors everywhere and you open it and it, it tells you something and it's like, you know, wrong way or, oh, it could just be the best maze ever. But for the time being, I just want to use, use it to freak out people a little bit. It is so weird. The difficulty, of course, is getting my hands on 256 stacks, yes, stacks, of white concrete powder. Now, obviously, I've been getting white concrete powder for a while now, so that's not really an issue. I've got plenty of bone meal, gravel, sand. But do I really want to spend that much resources, that much sand, gravel, and bone meal to create one map, one map. I could do it probably for free if I just did the map over the water and just made it blue. But something, something about the white room has me feeling all matrixy inside. So you're gonna have to let me know if it's worth my time. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. And I'm sorry, it's not the usual green episode, I'm afraid. It is 
a bit more of a chore, but some people did say they wanted to see me do the actual building a bit more rather than just showing off progress. So do let me know what you think. And thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much for watching. Goodbye.